Good morning, Teeny. How are you? Yesterday was a very, very long day, but we had some good, we had some good fun, and I made a lot of progress on my Minecraft world, which is great. Um, yeah, it was nice. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who came along and hung out. Yeah, it was fun. All right, getting all my things placed where they need to be. Open this window real quick so that way it does not work. There we go. That way I don't burn up in here with all of the computer electronics running. <laughs> Hothwell, just the ambient sound of the rain is so soothing today. Yeah, I'm so excited. Poop sticker! Welcome, welcome people. Hello, good morning. Just remembered it was somebody's birthday and I needed to text them. Teeny, I'm alright. I spent the weekend looking at videos about Washington and I think I might have found the town I want to move to. Ooh! I'll look, into, I'll look more into specific housing after I've gotten more prepared. Nice! Well, Hothwell, I don't know if Teeny necessarily wants to share that information on the public internet. That might hit, be hitting a little close to. I don't know. But, I mean, Teeny, obviously... Share if you feel welcome, but, or if you feel comfortable, but you are no pressure. Hothwell's excited because, um, uh, like, his side of the family lives on, like, the western part, and my side of the family is on, like, the central part. And we, I grew up in Washington, mostly, so... I know people, or I, I'm familiar with a lot of the different areas, and I've drug him around to a lot of the different areas, too. Not that far from Seattle. Oh, okay, gotcha, that side. Oh my gosh, we got so many things in here. I don't want to stand outside in the rain. Okay. Boop stickers! So exciting! Do I have things in my pocket? Hey, listen! Praise the Mew! Is Mew among us today? Oh, I didn't even open this up. Hey, to whoever found this, you know how you get so bored during commercials? That's when I came up with this recipe. It's too good to keep to myself, so I threw it in this bottle to share. Go get your arts and crafts on from Felicity a Creative. Aw, I think we do know that one. Yep. Okay, rainy day with outfit. Apologies, friends, if my voice is a little soft today. Did a 10-hour stream yesterday, and I'm doing pretty good, but that was a lot for my voice. I still have a voice. That's great. Mew is among us today. Praise the Mew. We are blessed. <laughs> Where are the... There we go. What, do I only have one raincoat? Oh, I had a dotted raincoat. Where did that go? Uh -huh. I thought I had a blue one. Oh, well, maybe I don't. Oh, 
wait, I got this? No. Well, let's work with that. Okay. Rain hat, rain hat. Oh no, Queen Mew! Uh, hospital says, that's a pretty part of the state. Hope you enjoy living there. Yeah, there's a lot of really nice hiking if you're into that. Or just like driving through the mountains. It's really beautiful. Oh no, Mew ain't feeling well at the moment. I'm so sorry. I hope you are resting. I thought I had rain hats in here somewhere. I have this one. Oh, there we go. That's too bright. This is not technically a rain hat, but it's cut kind of the same way. I always feel funny about using leggings as pants and then shoving them into these because I'm like, ew, my feet would feel so gross. Alright, we should switch out. <gasps> Graham is in my house! going on a lot of outings. Yeah! It's really nice. Whenever we go visit um, Hothwell's parents, we always end up out hiking around. Or at least like, they're out on the peninsula, so it's quite a lot of, um, a lot of, a lot more forest out there. Wear the poop hat. Absolutely! What umbrella do I want today? Let's do this one. I think I have like a... Yeah, that's not gonna match today. Boop hat time! See, that solves my problem of not knowing which rain hat to pick. <laughs> Oh, I should actually start a timer. I'm just like, poop hat is my life. This is just, this is fine. And just forget to start the timer. And I'll wear it for the rest of the thing. <laughs> timer started. Aww. I think I have the gray one already. I don't. I have two green ones. But I also don't really need the gray one, so... There's so many duplicates of things. I need to do another round of giving things away to villagers. Okay, what are things that I haven't worn like at all? Not you, because it's it's not summertime anymore. Eh, but it's so hard to get rid of things. Teeny, I hear they have an annual Twilight Festival in Forks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I bet they would. Have I been to Forks? I think I have been to Forks. Why? 
No, I've been Port Angeles. And there's a Twilight shop in Port Angeles, I'm pretty sure. Or there was. I thought I had another duplicate. Oh yeah, it's down in the shoes. <clears throat> Got. Oh yeah, I'm not probably not gonna wear that. Eh, no. This was cute, but well, we'll hang on to it because I liked it. No. Hmm. Did we have duplicates in here? Probably, yeah, I had some duplicates in socks. Commercials! Teeny, I'm back! I missed what you said. Oh, I was saying, like, I've been to... I was trying to remember if I'd been to Forks. Um, I might have been to Forks, just briefly. Um, but I've been to Port Angeles, which is another one that is referenced in the series. I actually have some friends in college that are from Port Angeles. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, so I've actually stayed in Port Angeles. What up, Gran? Sitting in my house with me? Aww. But I was saying that there's a Twilight shop in... Maybe it was in Forks? There, there has to be one in Forks. Um, But I might have seen the one that was in Port Angeles, actually. I didn't actually go in because I'm. We were in a hurry, and I'm not really a, a huge fan of Twilight. I'm, I'm pretty neutral when it comes to Twilight. I have read them all. It was silly. Like I thought it was silly, but it was also like. Even if I didn't think the story itself was like. 100% flawless, which like, honestly, it was one of the first kind of young adult fiction books that I read, or I guess in the kind of the, maybe the beginning of the young adult fiction boom, or resurgence, I guess. Um, and so I didn't really, so now that I've read a whole bunch more young adult fiction, I'm like, oh, okay, this is just kind of hard for the course. Um, even if I didn't necessarily like like the characters a ton because I didn't really identify with them very strongly myself it was well written in the fact that like it was well the story was well told in the way that like I just kept finding myself flipping pages so she did a good job with writing it for sure sneaks over and plays hide and sleep, by all means, please come take a nap. Especially if you're not feeling well. Just do little head pats. Head pats on you. <gasps> I have a hug command! 
<laughs> Receive hugs. Also likes head pads. Oh, almost stand no gamer. <laughs> Good morning, Rogue. How are you? Okay, we'll be here looking whilst working. Absolutely. Welcome in, welcome in. Laughable Rogue, I got stuck in a washing machine today. How's everyone else doing? Oh my gosh, did you guys figure out how to get it open? Oh, sorry, Daniel. Make it rain only works for Minecraft. Which I don't have open right now. But I'm so glad you were like playing with the like commands yesterday. It just made me so happy. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> Things will get even more chaotic once we get uh, more Minecraft commands unlocked, which will be great. <laughs> oh, he was joking around. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at that muscle suit. Me, of course, I'm not the only one that's not feeling well. My boyfriend ain't feeling well either. Oh no. That always sucks how that is where you're just like, and now we're both sick. So we're both going to just be miserable and a little bit whiny together. And there's no one left alive to take care of the other one. <clears throat> Daniel, you c could make a command for spawning bears and they would follow you around. Aww. Bears. Do they have bears? There's a polar bear. Polar bears will eat you. Uh, those are a hostile mob. Bears would be cute too. Oh, there's panda bears. Oh my gosh, Daniel says, you could make a command for panda bear. It would spawn the rolling panda bears, or the runny nose panda bear, or the brown panda bear, which are rare. Oh. 
Teeny, it's raining here in real life too. I don't know if it's raining today. <clears throat> it has been raining a lot the last week though. Fall is definitely here. I just cleaned out this shop today, jeez. I know you should do one for October and just call it spooky and just not to spoil it but think about it and doesn't spawn anything bad Ooh, where's my thing I like that idea of like holiday commands yeah let me see what I can do about that I need to see if I can get skeletons to not be hostile. <clears throat> and like do something silly. Like dancing skeletons or something. Bats! Bats would be so much fun! I ran into bats yesterday towards the end of stream. Let's see what else we can do. Sophie, I was about to catch the most exquisite bug and it eluded me at the very last second. I know I shouldn't give up, but I'm terribly frustrated. Thank you for letting me vent, darling. You're the best. Off to try again, Thelma. <laughs> That's a nice one. <laughs> Daniel Gamer, it could probably be a good idea to put a cold, uh, like a timeout on it because everybody would probably spawn bats like crazy and probably crash the server. <laughs> I'll see what I can do because I've also been thinking like for some of the end uh, some of the mobs that are spot that I'm thinking of having spawned that I don't necessarily want to stick around. Um, to do uh see if I could get them to despawn after a certain amount of time. <laughs> Petri, how are you, Sophie? I got worried all of a sudden about whether you were sleeping well. Spoiler alert, Petrie, usually not well, but thank you for asking. 
When it comes to looking at our best, sleep is terribly important. So I'm sending you a REM friendly deep sleep Prezi. Sweet dreams, Petrie. Is it a sleep mask? <clears throat> Got to go back and get the statue. Oh well. <clears throat> okay. I should actually put this on here also. That way we can see where we're at. <coughs> okay. Daniel Gamer, you could totally have some weird commands and totally never tell us, just kind of like give clues to whatever it is. It can be some weird commands where it turns all the animals upside down or something completely random. <laughs> Actually, I've been... So there's another streamer that I have had recommended to me. Uh, he's another Minecraft streamer, uh, but this isn't a Minecraft specific thing. Um, is that how you spell his name? Yeah, this guy. He does a bunch of other types of games too. Um, he has, uh, he's using Leoran board for all of his like triggers for things. But I think I can do similar things with Mix It Up Bot, <clears throat> where there are just random keywords in his that he has set up that will just spawn like little like video clip type things over his chat or over his screen. So things like. I think it's meow or kitty or something like that. We'll have this like I think it's meow. We'll have this little cat that just kind of like it's like a video that's had um, like just the the cat cut out of it. Uh, that'll just come and like wander onto the screen, sit for a little bit, meow, hang out, and then just kind of wander off the other side of the screen and like bunch of crazy things like that. Um, I triggered one when I was just like, hey, I'm going to go. It's time for me to eat pizza for dinner. And it was just like, he has a pizza command, which is just starts a little video where somebody's talking about pizza. Only it's really weird. <laughs> but yeah, so I've recently seen his stuff and it's, it's putting thoughts in my head about fun things that we could do over here. Well, it won't look exactly the same, for sure, because I don't want to copy his style, and I prefer to kind of come up with stuff that is <clears throat> um, kind of relevant to, or like related to the, the silly things we've kind of just generated and like built out as a, as a community already. Daniel Gamer, that's actually epic, right? Isn't that so cool? Oakdo is like, you have to go check out Shadsta streams. Um, and like, I've seen Shadsta around in other, in other channels and stuff, like in the chat, and so like, I knew who he was. I was like, he does cool things on his streams. So I was like, I'm there. <laughs> Problem is, he streams on, he streams Minecraft. He streams a lot, but he has a, a pretty set schedule, and his Minecraft day is Saturday evenings, my time. Um, he's out of the UK, so I don't. Know. So also evening, well afternoon maybe. 
Anyways. <coughs> and I'm usually pretty busy with things in the uh, real life space during that time. So. Yeah, our nuggets. We needed those. Daniel, whatever you do, don't make a command to call called troll because it'll probably end up spawning a creeper behind you. No! <laughs> we died to creepers so much. I have worked so hard on parts of my base, like my base. I do not want a creeper to ruin it. So we need to do some um, creeper protection at some point soon. Alright. Look at this area that we started getting set up last week. I'm just so, oh, I need to go move Ruby. I'm just super happy how it turned out. All right. We need Gulliver to come visit. Okay, we got enough iron now. We just need 10 more, 10 more Gulliver visits. <coughs> Is there anything in here for them? I don't think so. Okay. Mew, Daniel, Mew, join the dark side and we will all over the treehouse land. <laughs> You came, you was hanging out yesterday too. Mew secretly puts a lot of creepers in Sophie's Minecraft game. <laughs> no. Mm. Um, but Mew, I don't remember if you were around at the end. At the end, I finally got the things I needed to create the poop hat in Minecraft, so I have Poop Hat now in Minecraft, just for you. <coughs> oh, rule over treehouse land, oh, okay. Yes, rule over treehouse land. Okay. I think I like these steel counters a bit better. Yeah, they feel more lab to me. Oh, damn. Okay. <coughs> I love how she has super peppy music in her lab. <laughs> Daniel has been autocorrect, as in. to stick there. Of course, that might be all. <clears throat> Daniel, in the spirit of Mew stream, Mew, stream elements having a time autocorrect to go home, please. 
Alright, do I have anything else that should be over here? Nah. <laughs> Yay, this is coming along. Daniel, that joke is like multiple levels of meta. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's go find our own. Daniel, I wonder if this mouse villager would like a cheesy joke. OMG, please tell us the cheesy joke. Okay. Let's go say hi to Roswell, because I walked right past him. That was the joke. It's a mouse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Daniel, his eyes scare me. They rotate. They're they're great. <laughs> I got hair. There we go. <clears throat> okay, we are looking for I know. Daniel, no joke, the line through them turns. I know, it's so weird, it's so weird. Rogue, poor man lives in a house filled with great furniture. <laughs> I like to think he's just a bum that lives on a rooftop. Oh, look, Raymond is, uh, what is it called? Uh, giving orientation to our new, our new employee. <laughs> I own be my best friend. She's just so pretty. What does this look like? Oh, is this a safety vest? No! Oh, it's one of those. <laughs> Thanks.
All right, let's go donate some stuff to the museum. I think we need to move Ruby. We could do some more. Have I seen sparks? The villager sparks? Let me look this up. Sparks in Animal Crossing. What are you... Are you referring to something else? Ugh, here we go. <laughs> Level Baroque! Sophia got a screen cap pic of the poop emoji giving you a poop hat. May I share? Absolutely. <laughs> Sparks? Is it another squirrel? There's static. Yeah, I was wondering, like, this dude. And it's not gonna let me show it. Think of this dude over here. <clears throat> that guy, yeah. I was actually thinking, kind of thinking about having him. Like he was in the list of potential people to come be in be a villager. But um, I don't remember what. Pushed him out of the running. Let's donate some stuff. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Just gonna download that. Oh, that'll be really funny because I'm right next to Blathers. Let's see what happens. He managed to sleep through that. Uh, Daniel, just curious, is static compatible with Marshall? Um, Teeny says, Static is the cranky and Marshall is a smug. I don't actually know how the compatibility works. <coughs> Let's donate! Oh, my God. 
Teeny says, Static is cranky and Marshall is smug. Daniel says, So I'm going to take a guess. No, they won't get along. And Teeny says, Well, cranky's pretty much get cranky with everyone. <laughs> Del's on my Del's my only cranky on the island, and he's doing pretty okay. I don't think he's pissed anyone off yet. <laughs> Daniel, and my answer to all that is sad face. You could still have them on the same island, absolutely. Level Baroque. Okay, questionnaire. What kind of villager would you be? Hmm. Level hmm. Baroque. I have no idea, but it would not be a jock. That's for sure. I'd probably be a normal villager, honestly. And I'm short and round, so probably either a hamster or a squirrel. <coughs> Daniel, I'm not really sure, but it would probably be a spooky villager. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh yeah, Cricket's ears are next to its knees. Daniel Gamer, maybe a jack-o'-lantern, you know, the guy with the pumpkin hat? Yeah! Ooh, that'd be cool. Mitten crab. Yeah. Oh wow, they go all over the place. <coughs> they cute little mittens. Uh, what else do we have in here? Alright, last one. What? It's not good luck? Ah, uh, okay, I see, I see. Living possible. Nice. Aww. <laughs> Horseshoe crab orgy. Nice. <laughs> Teeny, I'd probably be a normal cat. Daniel, did you know that horseshoe crabs have a different color plasma than humans? Plasma mean being the like, l like the liquidy part of the blood once like all the red and red blood cells have been taken out. 
That's cool. Ours is like what? Kind of a yellowish color? Rogue, I think I'd be normal or peppy and most likely a crocodile. Oh, maybe I'd be a peppy. I don't know. I feel like I'm more chill than peppy. <laughs> Dear, we've got the crab and the... Oh, oh, yay, the mitten crab and the horseshoe crab. Nice. Oh, it looks so, so nice on the bottom. Oh, that's lovely. Got their dudes in there. We're gonna need more. I do not remember what all we donated today. Oh, crickets were the other things. What? Rogue, yeah, isn't it that horseshoe crabs have cobalt in their blood where humans have iron? Oh my goodness, that's so cool! Daniel Gamer, I'm not sure. It changes color with oxygen, but theirs turns blue or something like that. Oh! Oh my gosh, that's so cool! Uh, Rogue says, no, quick googling said it was copper, not cobalt. Yeah, that would make sense that it turns blue. Whereas our may, ours may be kind of a bluish color and then it turns red on contact with air. Whoa, that's so cool. Teeny, my crankies haven't gotten into any real fights, but they're old and set in their ways, so they get stubborn with other villagers. I love crank. I just love them all. They're just great. Level bro, it's called hemocyanin instead of like hemoglobin, right? Nice. Ooh, ooh, weird things. <clears throat> I've seen blue-blooded stuff, like, in... For, um... Like, sci-fi stuff, but I didn't realize it was actually based on, like, reality. That's really cool. Hey, Carol! How are you? And Gamer Michael! What up, guys? Or Humans? People? I'm very sorry. Sorry. Let's see. Carol was doing more wrestling stuff, and I bet Michael was doing Mario Kart. Yeah, Mario Party. Ah, uh, okay. It was a 50 50 <laughs> chance. <laughs> nice. Welcome in, people. Insert Smash Brothers meme here. Everyone is here! <laughs> we certainly got a lot of you regulars. It's fun. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to Monday. Oh, these guys look so cool. Where are my crickets at? Rogue, there is like a two second part in Stardust where they are showing a prince on the screen whose throat is cut and his blood is blue because royalty, I guess. Oh, yeah. Gamer Michael, I was playing Mario Party 8 on Nintendo Wii earlier on my stream. Nice! Crickets? Are you in here? Where are the crickets at? Oh, they are in here. Maybe? Oh, they're just not singing. Maybe they'll come. Maybe they'll sing at night. The bell crickets behind the way. Okay. Hammer Shark, hello! Oh my gosh, that's such a fun username. Are you also an Animal Crossing person? Welcome in. Uh, Carol, I wasn't tonight. Oh, uh, so playing wrestling stuff. But tomorrow night, I am with the. 2022 TND Na Nations Cup qualifying night as six countries have matches to see who represents them and number one contender matches to some of the championships in TND. Nice! Have fun with that! 
Gamer Michael, I win first place with eight stars on Mario Party. Nice. <gasps> Mario Sensei, hello. Let's also give a. Mura does stuff online. Yay! Go check out Mura's. Actually, I need to go check out your stuff. Whoa, that's actually really cool. Oh, this is a really nice blog. Why have I not followed this yet? Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's go look at the painting and then get a cup of coffee to go with my real life coffee. Hammer Shrek. I love Animal Crossing. I played the original Wild World, New Leaf, and New Horizons. Oh my gosh. We bow. We bow to your veteran experience. That's so exciting. I've only played New Horizons and a bit of Pocket Camp, if that counts. Um, I don't know if I would get into the older ones because the art style is so different. Maybe I would. I don't know. I'm having fun with this, though. Daniel, in the bug tank room, there's a bug you can see not... Uh, with the an camera angle, but it's located up above the tanks and it's some kind of bug, but the interesting thing about it is it's different on everybody's game. What? Okay, we'll go back and look for that. <clears throat> oh yeah, we finally have a painting in this room! The milkmaid. Lots of light contrast in there. Teeny says, I played the original Pocket Camp in New Horizons. Michael, just now I barely finished playing Fall Guys with Mother of Cats and Johnny. Nice! Nice! Daniel, that's the thing. You can't see it. It's out of bounds. You'd have to glitch your camera. Oh, okay, okay. Interesting. Okay, we're gonna go... Oh, we were gonna get coffee. Moro Sensei, trying to have my lunch. Since chores are done, people want me to do more stuff. <laughs> the cruelty of the world. Oh, Michael, it's rigged. Outer space and beans is trolling us. What? What are you talking about? Daniel, yeah, it was left there from development or something. I've seen it in I've seen it in a video. If I can remember which video, I'll send it. Nice. Yeah, if you can find it, put the link in chat. <laughs> Coffee. Oh man. I'm trying not to trigger a headache from like my back is stiff from just like leaning over the computer all day yesterday. <laughs> Let's let it cool just a little bit. What? Michael, have you tried Outer Space Brown before in Fall Guys? Um, I haven't actually played any Fall Guys. So no. But has anybody else? That sounds like so much fun. <laughs> Mara Sensei says, Untrimp! Untrimp! We're trying, trying to like <laughs> open things up. Okay. <clears throat> Daniel, no, just take a friend right at the wall and we are back. It'll help. What? <laughs> Michael, outer space is rigged. What? How's it rigged? Does it have like weird gravity things happening? I certainly hope so. Aww. We 
have Belle on the balcony. Uh, look at this cutie. Uh, there we go. Mara, I can't enter shrimp properly because I'm sitting with my legs up. Gamer says that the space level is the hardest round. Oh, I bet. <clears throat> Mara, if I fall, or if you try to unshrimp with because you, you've got your legs up, you'll fall. <laughs> Hammer Shark, do you usually play at this time of day? I don't wake up at 5 a.m. often. Yeah, I usually play. I usually start about an hour before this. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm over in Finland, so that's probably why it's a weird time for your schedule. Um, but I also do, I do s stuff on Thursday afternoons my time, which would be a little bit later into your morning, it sounds like. Um, or maybe midday. And then I do stuff in, also on Wednesday evenings my time, so that might be more towards your afternoon. Um, so yeah, go check out my schedule tab. And you will see, hopefully, it should translate to your time zone that you have set up in, in Twitch. So, bother a cat, right? Okay, BRB, we shall bother a cat. Hi. Are we gonna say hi to the people? Yeah. Yeah. Hothbell says, no, Sophie, why do you steal my poor sleepy kitty? Because I bothered her sister so many times yesterday. Yeah. During the long stream, so I figured it was this one's turn. Yeah, look at you, little shoulder cat. Yeah. Oh. Get this gargoyle. Yes, this is Cinder. Thank you, Teeny. <laughs> Baby, we have two cats here. We have Cinder, who's this little black cat who is just full of mischief all the time. And then we have um, a kind of a chonky gray cat named Belle, who's just a supreme cuddler. Lol, Vivi, hello, hello. Welcome in, welcome in. Uh, Hammer Shark, oh cool, cool, I have a friend from a similar time zone, and now that I think about it, I do wake up at 5 a.m. more often than I should. <laughs> well, welcome in, welcome in. Gamer, so the, um, we're talking about the, uh, space level on Fall Guys. Avoid laser beams, the conveyor belt moving left and right, hexagons every round. Diving deeply from platform to platform. Oh, gee, it's crazy. And people try to grab you and knock you off the platform. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Hammer Shark says, weird looking ferret. Oh, they called you a ferret. <laughs> Little Vivi, cute cat. Yeah, isn't she wonderful? Hello, snuggles. Hi. Are you having fun? Yeah. All right, shall I take you back to Hothwell? Yeah, or at least let you down. Okay. We are running away now.
Yeah, Belle is out enjoying the fall weather on the... We have a Glaston balcony. <clears throat> so, yep, those are those are the cats. Thank you so much. Who, who redeemed that? Was that Teeny? Thank you so much, Teeny, for uh, redeeming some cat love in our lives. Uh, Michael, me, mother of cats, and Johnny got tired these outer space rounds. Round never gives us something different, nice and simple. All it does is trolling us. <laughs> well, it makes sense if, it need, if they want it to be the most difficult level. Let's see, do I have... Nah, not over here. <coughs> Uh, but yes, because we have um, the last bug off on Saturday this week. Man, sorry. Sometimes the brain takes a moment to load. <laughs> we will be doing the bug off on during Friday's stream, so I'll time travel. So please, I have been having so much fun having people come join me for that. Um, so if you are around and on at the Animal Crossing, I will put up a dodo code for people to come. Come catch bugs with me. <coughs> Vivi, I have a black cat like Cinder. Oh, what is your cat's name? We stand cats here. Thanks for picking this up. I was walking around yesterday picking up DIY stuff and I came up with a great recipe. I thought it smelled good, so I wanted to share that smell with you. Be careful when YDI. That's a joke, Captain Cranston Tea Crafter. What smelled good? Orange wall. Okay, yeah, that would, that would smell good. I totally got that message on one of them and it was uh, the golden dung beetle. And I was like, dude, what? <laughs> Yeah, Dini also has a black cat. His name's on Hello. Super cute. I'm trying to think if I've actually seen pictures of on Hello. Do you have him on your Instagram at all ever? Vivi, my cat's name is Milky Way, but I call him Baby. Oh, Milky Way is a really nice name for a black cat. Ah, oh, little turtle, yeah. Just a second. Yep, just have a turtle just chilling here by the pond. Mara, I miss playing with cats. I don't go outside much and my friends don't have them. Oh, Cats are wonderful. I've been a crazy cat lady since I knew cats existed. <coughs> uh, Teeny does totally have... Um, pictures of on hello over on their Instagram which is here if people want to go look at on hello there you go go look at the adorable black cat um oh thank you so much for the follow Vivi welcome welcome I don't know if I asked because it was in the middle of all of the uh, cats cat happening um but do you also animal do animal crossing uh <laughs> Rogue cats are babies. Hammer Shark has three cats. Oh my gosh. You need to tell us about that. Yeah! Oh my gosh. Yes, Sticker Storm time. Welcome in. We're just starting right off with mischief. I appreciate this. So, how this works is I'm gonna. There's the sticker app, and I'm going to go over. I've got a timeout on it right now. I'm not even logged into Twitch. Oh my god. And hydrate! Thank you so much, Michael! Thank you! Yeah! Okay, so... I'm going to turn off the delay and set a timer for two minutes and then you all have to work together to put as many stickers on the screen as possible. 
There are stickers in there that are um, for free, and there's also some that are for bits. Um, if you feel like doing any of that stuff, um, we are off to a great start. Just a second, I'm a little bit behind you guys. Ah! Here we go, here we go. I mean, please, please keep slapping the stickers. All right, there's that. Let's start our timer. All right, here we go. What else we have in here? <coughs> Rogue says cats are babies. Hammer Shark is three cats. Woohoo! Mora, I saw a cat from a window today though. It was a little black kitten who was moving like an Octodad. <laughs> oh, kittens are so silly. <coughs> Michael, three. OMG. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, Rogue, I've always wanted cats, and now that I moved in with Sophie and Hothwell, I get to share theirs. Yes! Uh, Hammer Shark. Michael, Ethan, and Charlie are their names. Hothwell, we need a countdown timer on the screen. I know. I know. I haven't gotten that one figured out yet, though. It's on. I don't actually think it's actually on my list. Let's put it on the list. Um. So many cats! Okie doke. Wow! Oh my gosh, that looks so great! Okay, you can't see, but it has been added to my list of things. Updates. Updates to the channel. <clears throat> oh no. Here we go. Whoa! So many of these! There we go. Alright, get your last couple ones in. As a go, turn this off. All right, friends. That was beautiful. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. <coughs> also, welcome, Vivi. You will fit right in here. <laughs> Ooh, what are you guys saying? <laughs> Uh, oops. I am always very surprised when it's the Robo Villagers that end up with please. <coughs> Seems like you're made out of metal. <coughs> All right. What else did we want to do today? Let's see what she wants to do. Oh, this is going to be about the bug off. Did you do the fashion? I have not done the fashion yet, so that's the next thing. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this makes me so mad. So mad. Vampire costume is not goth. I don't know how to tell you. I mean, kind of, but like... Not, but kind of. So, Mabel does not think Dark Lolita counts as goth, and that makes me really mad. <laughs> uh, let's see what I have in here. Mura Sensei is an expert. Let's go. Expert in goth. Let's see. I think we have a couple people in here. Mm. 
I was thinking maybe to go with, I think this one. Teeny, I tried a steampunk one and she didn't like it. I know. We could do this and then I'm just gonna just do jeans, I think. <clears throat> Headwear, I don't know. Do we got... Holy tights, which we're not actually going to be able to see, but... This is not Victorian dress. Oh, do I have that? <laughs> I don't know what she'd think about this. Honestly, I could just do stuff to see. Okay, this. There we go. Oh yeah, the Victorian dress. This is the one I went with. And she was like, um, no, this is not goth. Like the first time. I was like, are you kidding me? How? How is this not? <laughs> it made me mad. It made me so mad. Yeah, let's try the Victorian. With this... Um, holy tights still work, but let's try one of the other shoes. Do little boots, yeah. Be as dead as you can be. Mora says, she said vampire, be as dead as you can be. Daniel, what the world? I came back and you're all playing dress up. Oh, we're doing the, uh, dress up prompt for, um label. Oh, Hammer Shark, thank you so much for the follow. Of course. Judgment is happening. Yes! Oh, Daniel Gamer, go ahead and post it if you found the video. Thank you, Mara. Thank you. But she didn't give me something, so I didn't have enough. Like, she didn't give me something she made, so I didn't have enough, um, enough goth points. Let's see. So many ads. <laughs> this is silly. There's like so many different, ooh, okay, I'll watch that one later. There's like a bunch of different glitches. That's so much fun. Okay. <laughs> oh my, she's picky, Hothwell. Very unique, Label's way of saying, what the heck. Daniel Gamer, yeah, the bug shows up around one minute, close to two, okay, cool, gotcha. All right. Um, I actually like this outfit. Let's stay in this. Um, let's we could empty our pockets. And then we could go do some more stuff for, um... For one of the labs, I guess. Uh, so I guess I'll keep that. Do, do, 
to do. Let's rearrange some stuff. <laughs> Hammer shark, my cat Ethan is on my screen, so now I can't see anything. Oh my gosh. What colors are your cats? I love that they have people names. That's so great. Hothwell, this is what I imagine your strange horticulture character was wearing. Yeah, absolutely. Hammer shark, he's a big boy, not fat, just large. Fair, fair. Yeah, I have seen some very large, t like, boy kitties. They get big. See, did I learn this one already? Probably. Laura, I'm thinking about which build can I do next. I have two unfinished builds, cosplay house and Christmas bear, but I kind of want something new, too. Ooh. Good luck, I'm sure inspiration will strike. Is there somewhere you wish you could be right now? Or somewhere you wish you were doing? Or something you wish you were doing? Or could go visit sort of thing. Hammer shark has got a calico, an orange, and a Himal Himalayan Persian bastard. <laughs> nice. I love orange kitties so much. Let's see. <laughs> my brother had one or one of my brothers had one for a while he was so cute he had just like a just like permanently like shocked expression on his face which was so great oh my gosh she is pink hello Mm. All right, let's see what else do we have? Toolbox. kinds of things. What? Tangled cords. Oh, yeah, utility wagon could work. <laughs> We're a big thunk bastard. <laughs> Hammer shark, my cat Michael. 
Or Michelle has her eyes pointing different directions. Oh, derpy kitty. No. Alright, we could order a couple more of those, like three maybe? Hothwell went into lurk. Have enjoy your lurk. Goodbye. Mormon Disco Ball. Hi there. How's your island going? It's going great. We are doing Oh, I was gonna move Ruby. Um I'm working on the Astro Lab today. Well, some of the labs today. Um, what else can we put in here? Oh, I had like a tin robot or something. Oh, I was gonna put this wagon. Wagon! I think I want to stick you over here, actually. Mm. But yeah, Mormon Disco Ball, are you also an Animal Crossing person? Welcome in, welcome in. Their lab is just going to be a mismatch of a bunch of things all just piled together. I think that's just how we're going to do it. Got another unfolded reference sheet. guys side by side. ahead and drop some things here that I don't need. Oh, these are all just tables. Okay. Um, oh, I ordered everything I could order for today. So, let's go ahead and move Ruby. Mormon Disco Ball, thanks! I played it non-stop for six months, then one day I forgot to sell my turnips. Haven't played since. <laughs> Wasn't too far. I never got five stars. Just fished a lot. Hey! Fishing mini games are the way to go. Vivi, sorry, back. My laptop died. No worries. Uh, but yeah, for you guys that are new, what I'm working on is a secret research facility island. Um, so that was that's the Astro Lab, which is coming along. Next door, we have the Alien Research Lab. We've got a dissection area, a messy office. Um, Roswell is our researcher for this area. He's just the aliens meme. 
Then uh, the after lab is Ruby is in, and Ione work together in there. It's both like a space program and also like a mecha development program. Uh, yeah, so we this is going to have like alien tech and stuff back here. There's going to be a wall here and then we get into the gener uh, which is going to totally block it off, but we haven't built it in yet because I'm not sure how far away I want things. We've got a generator room uh, and a beach where um, secret imports and exports happen. You get to the generator room through the lab of Petrie's, our head of research. So she's this, she's the science mouse and she is researching the moss. There she is, hanging out in her lab. Um, then we've got a Mormon disco ball. Oh man, this is gonna be sick. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Never shark, that's so cool. Thanks. It's not really how Animal Crossing like it's been it's weird because this is like all inside a big building but there's like dirt walls so it's been kind of interesting to get it to feel like labs because Animal Crossing is so much designed to be nature and outdoors so this is the fish and wildlife lab which is run by our pal Barold who looks like every near retirement engineer I've ever met. So he had to had to be a part of this island. Ah. So yeah, Barold is this dude. Then we have, actually let's go back in here. We've got Cephalobot over on the other side who takes, who is studying um, the plant life of planet Earth, or I guess planet Animal Crossing. So we've got our fruits and veggies and flowers, some trees, lots of weeds. Yeah, that's what we got over here. Oops, sorry, leaf book. Um, then we've got our... Oh, this was Petrie's lab. There's a couple, kind of, like a break room and then a little presentation room next door. I love how putting the um, screen up on the second level makes it look like it's coming down from the ceiling. Ah, that was just a happy accident. It just looks so great. So excited about that. Then we've got our archaeology lab. Which, um, on the right side is Velma, who's kind of an old school researcher. So she's very much kind of like archaeology, anthropology type of person. Then we have Graham, who's over on the other side, who is kind of new school researcher, and he is doing um, like sound analysis of the gyroids. So he's got a gyroid choir. With some, you know, recording devices set up in there. We're missing two gyroids still, so that's the holes up there. This is a machine to rehydrate gyroids. We've got a little gyroid digging up area. And then over here, we've got um, fossil area and a bunch of just like antiquities. <laughs> kind of a little museum. And some items that need to get put in her house. They have a shared office space back here. add like a couple more things probably but here we've got I just really like the kind of matchup of like super techy and super old school uh, 
Um, what else do we have? This is kind of a just op like open to the public area. A little games lounge. A little patio area. Like patio ba balcony. Cafeteria. Which is like the only restaurant on the island, so pretty much everybody comes here. Dan is here! He's a goofy, silly, nerdy, go geeky goth, but friendly. Yes, very friendly. Oh yeah, money! Wait, I can't just drag that down there. Put away! So yeah, we got everything in this cafeteria. There's a little kitchen back here. Which I need a little, a few more touch-ups here and there, but like the core of these areas are done. We've got our library where I've tucked the museum away in. Need to figure out something to do with this like study corner because it's not quite working. Um, then we've got our CEO's office, and of course, our CEO is none other than Business Cat Raymond. Of course. So he's got a secretary. And then we've got the, the big fancy corporate area. I need to work on this living room corner because it just doesn't quite work yet, and the furniture isn't completely matched. But yep, Business Cat. He's got a balcony overlooking the sea and the Statue of Liberty. And then his house is tucked away back here. Uh, yeah, let's see what else is happening in this island. I've been working on this since February, so we've, we've put quite a bit of time into it. Mostly working on it just on stream, but doing some, like, resource collection off screen. This is just the fancy corporate waiting room. Um, and yeah, then we've got the rest of our island, which is just the, oh yeah, this is just a nice little, nice little island. Nothing too fancy to see here. Little campground area. Some beachy stuff. Dark Sid, Dark Side. Hello, welcome in. How are you? Are you also an animal crossing person? This is my house. Then we've got. Uh, oh, yeah, the loading bay is over here. It's kind of like a loading bay, maintenance area, janitorial closet sort of thing. Del, our cranky villager, is our janitor. Slash maintenance person. But yeah. Then we have our more like above board imports and exports area. And we need to go move. Let's go move Ruby's house. Okay, so I need this to be less than five, I think. Two, three, four, five. For things to spawn, so let's see how that works. Uh, Hammer Shark Ethan is now laying on my face. Yes, chunky cat on face. Apply to face. Mormon Disco Ball, what's your stance on the new Lord of the Rings series? Um, I haven't actually seen any of it yet. I want to, 
But right now we're working our way through House of Dragons first, so. But I think that we will probably watch that after that. Um, House of Dragons has been fun. Um, I mean, you absolutely have to have in, set in your mind that yes, this is a uh, game George R. R. Martin Game of Thrones situation happening. Um, but I feel like it's less dark so far than Game of Thrones has been. And I'm sure it'll get worse. But it's a bit less terrible than Game of Thrones has been, which has been nice. And also, yeah, the, the actors are doing just a lovely job. It's been, it's just been really nice. I've read, I've read Game of Thrones um, books, but I didn't watch the show because there was just stuff in there that I was like, I don't want to watch this. And I especially didn't want to watch it alone. But I have found some, some viewing partners recently, so I was like, yeah, let's watch this. Um, Daniel Gamer, I have a question about story stuff. Can memories be lost and regained? Also, if a character has different memories, does that make them a different character if they have different sets of memories? Oh my gosh, I have a book series for you to read. Oh, what is it called? What is it called? Um, ah, what is it called? Uh, but yeah, uh, Mormon Disco Ball, I am, I'm definitely looking forward to watching the, um, Lord of the Rings series. We'll see how it goes. Hammershark has, Cat has been removed from, he has removed himself, can now see properly. Great! Oh, what a cuddly kitty. Vivi gotta go, bye, thank you so much for joining us today. See you around. Okay, speaking of memories being transferred and lost and remembered, oh god, what is the name of this book? And sci-fi. Oh, just such a fascinating book series, and I cannot remember what it's called! It's by a Chinese author. And it's like, magic, but like, magic is actually math based. I wish Pinterest would not rearrange the boards. There we go. Oh, I don't have them on here. Maybe it's in my library app. I need to buy these books because they're just... I checked it out from the library and read it there, but I need to buy them because, oh my gosh, they were just so good. Um, where's my dashboard? Tags, there we go. Nine Fox Gambit. Is that the first one? three of them? Yeah. But it is, um, Nine Fox Gambit by Yoon Ha Lee. Such a great book series. Oh my gosh. Very, very fascinating. Um, Uh, Daniel Gamer, but what that means that other character is the same character but with someone else's implanted memories, this series is all about that question. Which is why I was like thinking about it. Um, it's a book of three different series, or three different, it's a series of three different books. My gosh, brain just not working today. Um, and the premise of it is, let me see, what does, what does my library app say for the premise? <clears throat> um, B 
basically a like military person who has kind of like made made a like a tactical error and got herself in trouble um has a chance to redeem herself by letting a revenant so a ghost somebody's soul that has been taken out of their body and like frozen in time get implanted into her um so that way she can be basically the host for this um long dead general um who was also they were imprisoned and executed for war crimes but like what the war crimes are is kind of like weird and nebulous and um oh it's so fascinating but yes the like am i still me am i someone else and like remembering pieces that have been forgotten like that's absolutely 100% what this book what this book series is so i h highly recommend you check it out um i know for sure that there are print books but i don't know if there's like audiobooks there's probably audiobooks available too it's really wonderful hello 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 daisy my games how are you i saw that you i saw you pop on your go live um and it said that you were making a new nook a nook shop oh my gosh like please tell me about that welcome in everybody with daisy may games um if you are new here hello my name is sophie we do animal crossing streams monday tuesday thursday friday at 10 a.m eastern european time um i am working on a secret research facility island which is full of labs. It's kind of like science core and re like and um, corporate core mixed together. So we got lots of things happening. Oh, I was in there to move Ruby's house. That's why I was there. Um, but yeah, I also do Minecraft um, Thursday afternoons, Eastern European time. And I am currently working through the amazing cat game of 2022, Stray on Wednesday evening, 6 p.m. Eastern European time. So if those are time zones that do not make sense to you, please go over to my scheduling tab. I do keep that up to date and it should translate to whatever time zone you have inputted into Twitch. Daisy May, I just cleaned it up and added some nice pathing bricks and jack-o'-lanterns lined the path. Oh, you're getting ready for Halloween, so nice. Daisy me. I love it. My houses are that core. Nice. Inside of them, very creepy lab-like. Lab-like. Nice. I need to come see your island sometime. Let's move. And then our last villager house will be placed. Ruby. Because we have all of our villagers now, um, we've like switched out for uh, the ones that we want, like the, the permanent villagers for this one. And so now it's just kind of finishing up the last little bits of um, finishing up the last little bits of labs, making sure those are all done, um, and then getting along far enough in Happy Home Paradise to be able to make uh, update everybody's homes. Daisy May, yes, I'm going to raid and run. Absolutely, please go, please go rest up. Thank you so much for bringing your community over here. We're gonna raid out probably in another like 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yes, thank you, it's so nice to see you. Uh, raid and run, but I hope True rest if the stream goes well. I'll see you soon, lovey. Absolutely. Goodbye. All right. Here we go. Try 
friend member of Daisy May had an Instagram, and if I am following her on Instagram. No. Maybe. Nope. Okay, that is completely fair. I don't do a lot of stuff over. Well, I have. I'm only on Instagram because I've had some people twist my arm. So we will see. I'm kind of. I'm kind of just disillusioned with social media. It like. It's so frustrating these days because. Um. It's become so much a place of business that it's it's so difficult to actually see content I want to see um, like creative content I want to see that's not just like the same bullet point list as everybody else is doing um, Like on Instagram, I am absolutely getting. So like I'm getting community from, or like getting interactions from people who are other streamers and so other Animal Crossing streamers. So they're, so that's really great. And that's nice. But a large chunk of the people who are following me are like people who are looking for clients for graphic art for like to be able to do make assets for twitch streamers and that's okay and I get it but it's a little bit frustrating nobody's been like well no I have had a couple of people just comment weird things on my on my posts, just basically advertisements. And I haven't really done anything with them because I didn't, I don't know, I don't really know how the algorithm works and I've been, you know, it's better to have some comments than no comments, so, but that's also really frustrating because I'd like to kind of just have a nice clean feel to the community, but it's like, no, no, I need to keep these comments on here, even if they're not really doing anything great. Because it's better for the algorithm. I'm like, oh. Okay. So yeah, Mormon Disc Ball. Yeah, it's no longer just pictures of friends. It's just an algorithm to keep my eyes on it as long as possible. Yeah, Teeny, just check out my Instagram. Yeah, Teeny has a nice Instagram. <laughs> um... And so I think that's kind of the thing is I just need to, yeah, as Tina says, I just post things I like. That I just need to post what post what I want to post and not really like pay attention too much to anything else. That's how, how to keep my sanity and all of that. But yeah, I had been on Pinterest. Not Pinterest. Um, Well, Pinterest is becoming kind of that way too. Oh my gosh, Pinterest is pissing me off. I'm still using it because it is the only the only kind of media platform that I know of that kind of works like it is because I love the concept of it and I've used it for a bazillion years now. Um, but it's so hard to find anything now on it because everybody is tagging everything, everything. Um, which is annoying if you're looking for like outfit recommendations or something or like haircut recommendations so like if I type in like long bob or medium length hair haircuts I'll get everything like literally everything there'll be pixie cuts that show up there'll be like long hair there'll be stuff that's not even related to haircutting at all that shows up because people are just t tagging everything as everything just to try and get eyeballs on their stuff and it's just so much crap to sort through. Um, and it's just, 
making it really hard to use the platform as it was originally intended to be used. Um, but it can also be downright kind of dangerous too because like there have been times when I've looked up stuff for specific dietary things. Um, like low FODMAP or something like that for, you know, or gluten free um, for people in my life that I'm trying to cook well for them. And it will give me recipes that are absolutely not anything like that as like some of the first recommendations because that's just what's been popular, like what's gotten a lot of clicks or something. Actually, I'm not entirely sure how their algorithm works. Um, but it definitely relies on like how they're tagging some things, which is, ooh, uh, it's so annoying. <laughs> what color is this portable record player? Red, okay. Let's see. So yeah, I've been enjoying Tumblr because it has not messed with algorithm stuff hardly at all. It still lets you make your own feed how you want it to be made and it shows up chronologically, which is great. Um, and it's where the internet is still weird and wonderful, which is great because like Instagram is just super sanitized and I guess it's kind of like the the I don't know kind of baseline stuff because Instagram is all about like making thing your pictures look pretty because it started out especially as uh, with like filters were kind of the one of the very first features of it so I guess that's just kind of it's very focused towards pretty pictures all right where do we want to sit on this beautiful rainy day as I get ready to sign off. Um, thank you. So I'm so sorry for the very long rant I just had about social media. <laughs> I have opinions, y'all. <laughs> I'm not quite an internet elder, but that's more because I wasn't actually on the internet like at all until I was in my 20s. Ooh, sheltered upbringing. It was a good rant. Thank you. Thank you, Mormon Disco Ball. <laughs> I try. Okay, well, I guess we can go over here because this is kind of where our new stuff is. Do I have any chairs over here? No chairs over here. We sit on the ground like savages. Or we just do that. All right, Ugh, I'm, we're winding down for the day, but before we write out, we're gonna do some little self-promote promo time. This is, for those of you that are new, welcome one. This is the time during my stream where I like to turn things over to our wonderful community here and to kind of just point the spotlight back at you guys. Um, because we have absolutely wonderful creative, hardworking people in this community doing wonderful things on the internet and I want to be able to celebrate them. So this is things like, so yeah, pretty much if you create stuff on the internet that you want people to know about, uh, please let me know in the chat. Um, and so things like if you do streaming here on Twitch or some other sort of streaming platform, if you make media for um, some sort of media platform like YouTube or Spotify or something else kind of along those lines, if you have a, if you do commissions or web, hello, oh yes, thank you so much for the follow, Mormon Disco Ball. Um, now I just like totally <laughs> lost my train of thought. <laughs> Commissions, if you do commission work for like art or some other sort of like freelance type work, please let us know. Um, if you have a shop, like a web shop somewhere where you sell things you've made, um, also please let us know. Um, and so now I'm going to go ahead and scroll up through the chat and let that kind of be my reminder of who else been, of 
who in the community is doing things. Um, if you have, are, have been in Lurk, this is an absolutely fine time to come out of Lurk and be like, hello, I do a thing. We'll be like, hooray, you do a thing. And then you can go back into Lurk and it's fine. Um, and what else? If I forget you, or if you're new and we haven't talked about it yet, please, please put it in the chat what you, what cool things you do on the internet. Because I know that I'm not, I know that I'm not the only one in this community. We have several, quite a few people in this community that also like to go around and peek in on what people are doing and like support when and how they can. Um, and I think that's just wonderful. So let's go ahead and get some shout outs happening. So Teeny Butterfly does things online. We've been talking about Instagram. They've got a lovely Instagram, but they also do videos over on YouTube. Um, they have some, you've got some Animal Crossing stuff up there on YouTube, right? They for sure have Animal Crossing stuff on their Instagram. Um, but then they also have some, their most recent stuff is Disney Dreamlight Valley videos over on YouTube, which is great. Um, Daisy Games came, Daisy Made Games came in and raided us, so we're gonna go say, give a little shout out to them, playing Animal Crossing. Also, they have the best Animal Crossing username ever. But yeah, let's see. But yeah, Hammer Shark, more Disco Ball, Dark Side. I think Vivi went away. Uh, but if any of you guys do um, anything on the internet, please let us know. We would uh, that you want people to like come look at and support. Please let us know. Please let us know. Uh, who else have we had in here? We had so many people in here today. Okay, we have had the Autism Carol. <coughs> they do streaming. It's a lot of uh, wrestling, 2022 sort of that game content. Um, they are just a really dedicated content creator for documenting that game fully, which is awesome. Um, it's, people like that are just like cornerstone stones, cornerstones of fandom. And it's so wonderful to um, have people making like really dedicated content. Um, let's see, who else have we had? Mara Sensei. does post sims 4 builds over on the tumblr who else have we had in here who else have we had Doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. gamer michael his niche is uh, mario party and uh, mario kart like mario type party games um also if you guys are ever interested he has made a Mario Party Animal Crossing Island where you can actually play Mario Party on the island. So, and has been like super excited to um, show that off to people and to play with people and host games for that. So if that's something that interests you, you should go check out his channel and talk to him more about it. Um, who else have we had in here? Uh, da, 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 da. Scrolling up, scrolling up. Okay, that's as far as my... Who else have we had in here? Teeny says, I'm going to upload my fourth Animal Crossing video sometime this week. Woohoo! All right, I think... I think that's everything. Did we get raided by anybody else? So. All right, <laughs> forgive me, <laughs> forgive me those who came in earlier and I've forgotten who you are. All right, so let me do a little, so, um, oh, order of things to do. Okay, so during this month of September, I am wanting to go find new streamers that I haven't visited yet when we do raids. So if you, please look through your um, following lists and let me know who you have online, that's fun. Um, it does not have to be Animal Crossing related. And we will go say hi, and it'll be awesome. So I will, the first person to put into 
the chat a streamer that I have not met before. Uh, we will go visit that one. Hammer Shark says, I wasn't here for long, but this was fun. Thank you so much for coming in. It was nice to have you. I love you. Yes, I, I'm here for cat stories all the time. So please, please just fill our chat with cat stories. <laughs> Um, let's see what else. Oh, yes. So I've just started Minecraft streaming. And so for September, I have some unlockable interactive commands for my Minecraft streams. Um, so we have made it to... We have blue skies for you and make it rain. So those are two things where you can... Any follower can type into chat that and it will actually change the weather in my Minecraft server, which I just think is so cool. Um, so we are working on unlocking storms of brewing, so being able to create a thunderstorm also. Uh, and then we have lots and lots of other fun goodies for that. This is just some. I have many, many more. Um, and they're all very silly, so that will be a good time. Um, so yeah, if you feel like dropping me a sub, putting your Prime subscription over here this month, that would be awesome. We can unlock some silly, silly things in the Minecraft world. Um, but yeah, so the weather commands are going to be all for for all vo viewers, for followers, um, but then there's going to be some stuff that is also just for subscribers as we go on further. But yes... So that's my self-promo time. Does anybody have any streamers that are online that they are, they would like to suggest for us to go raid? Otherwise, we're just gonna go see what is, just see what's generically on here. Say hi to Got a lot of treasure islands in here. <laughs> Alright, let's go say hi to Scapegoat. It's been a little bit, I think, since we have said hi to her. Alright, friends, we have, and she's playing Animal Crossing. So here's the raid message, and let's go hi to, say hi to Scapegoat. Thank you so much for coming in. We will be back here. Uh, at 10 a.m. tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern European tom time tomorrow for more mine, or not mine, more Animal Crossing, and I hope to see you then. Please check out my schedule tab for the other things I do. I do quite a lot these days, um, and it should automatically change to your time zone. All right, we will see you next time. Have a lovely rest of your Monday. <laughs>